Welcome, welcome, everybody. So I got Tales of Berseria running on my computer now. I don't have the rights to that song, so I went ahead and just skipped it, sorry. Um, controller settings. It's already set to WASD, so good. Let's get started. You hide here, Velvet. I'm going back to help Seneca. I'm so scared. Arthur, please. <laughs> You'll be just fine with these. Seneca enchanted them herself. They'll give you the courage you need to survive. You will? Sure they will. Now, have I ever lied to you? Just now. Just now. I'll come back for you once Selica is safe. It's scary, but don't give in to fear. Don't despair, no matter what. I won't. I promise. After all, I'm Laffy's older sister, and you're a student. Ouch. That's gotta suck. On that day, the world began to change. Men and beasts possessed by evil spirits. 
hunting and killing anyone they could. But even in the depths of despair, only two things matter to me. The taste of blood-soaked flesh. And revenge upon one man. Hmm. Luffy, time to wake up. Uh, okay. Morning! I told you to stop calling me Luffy. I'm not a little kid anymore. <laughs> grumble, grumble, huh? You must be feeling good. Hmm. Bit of a fever, I'm afraid. At least the new medicine's supposed to come today. Until then, you stay in bed, got it? What? Aww, but I wanted to go to the cave. Sorry, you'll have to wait. Can I at least read a book? Don't trouble your sister, Lafayette. I didn't mean to. Arthur, done chopping firewood? Yeah, enough to last through winter. But there's something else I need to take care of. Sorry, but medicine money will have to wait a bit. I can earn it myself, then. Bring down a few prickle bores, and I'll have plenty to offer in trade. On your own? Arthur's first maxim. Plans must be solid and reactions flexible. All right. I shouldn't doubt my students' abilities. Sorry to put you in the spot. I'm sorry, Velvet. Whoa, hey! What's everyone apologizing for? We're a family, right? Right. Uh, I'll see you later. That's um. I whipped up some porridge for you. Mildly okay? depressing. Be back by evening. Just a little bit. Thank you. Be careful, Velvet. I did you hear that? There's like a melancholy in the flutes, but. If I'm on the hunt for prickle bores, I'd better try the tranquil woods outside of town. This is for Luffy's medicine, so I can't mess this up. Okay. Let's see, how do I rotate? How do I rotate camera? System. Options. Controller settings. Okay, so the keys that I'm using for that are my camera. There we go. It's actually kind of cool. Come to think of it. Arthur hasn't requested his favorite dinner in a while. There's been so much going on, and the village always has him out hunting. Maybe he's just worn out? That does it. I'll cook him up some prickle boar stew, just like Salika taught me. That ought to pick him right up. A healthy portion of nourishing meat cures fevers and weariness alike. Uh, depends on who you ask. Me, yeah, honestly... I like meat, I do, but I don't think I could eat it every day. <sighs> Ever since the opening seven years ago, this world's really gone crazy. Famine, freezing weather, and worst of all, this demon blight that's turning people into monsters. I can't believe that people can really turn into those things. It's a nightmare. Does no one know what causes demon blight? Or how to heal it? No. What we do know is that when people turn into those monsters, I mean demons, they gain incredible strength and attack humans on sight. <sighs> Whoever named it the opening named it right. It's like someone opened a portal directly to hell. Come to think of it, Selica died during the opening, didn't she? It might be a good thing she died when she did. She didn't have to suffer through all of this. It's good that my sister died? 
How can you say that? Uh, sorry. I didn't mean it that way. You're a real idiot, you know that? Sorry about him, Velvet. Hey, Velvet. Is Lafacet feeling better? No, not yet. He needs a little more rest, I think. Aw, uh, too bad. Tell him I'm looking forward to hunting beetles with him again when he's better. Right, got it. Lafayette's illness sure is persistent. Yeah, that fever still keeps coming back. Like clockwork. The medicine always helps a little bit. But still, that sounds terrible. But let me know if there's anything I can do to help. Thanks, but we'll be fine. At least we've got Arthur to take care of anything that needs muscle. And before he came, Celica raised me and Lafayette all by herself. So now I have to do my best, too. You sound just like your sister. That optimism must run in the family. I do? That's nice of you to say. I should probably stock up on a few things before I go into the forest. I don't have a lot of money to spare. But like Arthur always says, battles are won and lost with the preparations made before the first strike. Uh, so the wrong way out of town. Back this way. The demon blight is a punishment sent to us by the Imperians for forgetting the old prayers. Who are the Imperians? The four Imperians created the world. The one Imperian shall bring it to peace. Be afraid. When contradiction permeates this world, the time of suppression will be upon us. Are you okay? Want me to take you home? No! Don't treat me like a child! All right then. Oh! Don't fall into the Shrine of Tranquility, right? I know. I'm not a kid. Of course, of course. You're 13 now, aren't you? I'm 16. She and I have old woman. Well, that is interesting. Contradictions. I've got the plot of this game is... Wait, are we the bodies? This area looks promising. There's been terrible on everyone's crops, but at least the city will buy our prickleborn meat now. Luffy and Arthur have been hoping the village could start raising them, but they can just be so temperamental. 
I wonder if they could be bred with more docile pigs. What would we call them? Oinkle boars? Nah, doesn't sound appetizing. What about pickle boar? Yeah, pickle boar. That's a cute name. Maybe too cute though. <laughs> I wouldn't want to discourage people from eating them. So yeah, as I said before, all my PS4 saves decided to go kaput. Like my PS4 playthroughs do not have audio for, for the vast majority of it, so it's like, oh shit. I'm not going to start them over because I've already spent more than 12 hours and trying to make sure my recording is the medicine. I bet. <sighs> this place isn't safe. That hole's gotten bigger. I've told them a thousand times they ought to build a fence, but they keep saying it's forbidden land. Even Selica used to scare me with it. She was always, this is a gateway to the underworld. Well, I'm too old to keep falling for that nonsense. I hunted. Are you there? Maxim three. Never waver once your sword is drawn. Control your feelings to control the tide of battle.
for the enemy. Thrill of victory. Your emotions run too hot. That will be your downfall. Oh. Agreed. It's one of the virtues as well. Huh? Yes, I know. But even so, she's got to... Arthur's fourth maxim. Never let your guard down, even when victorious. Got it. In any case, this should be enough to buy Lafayette's medicine. I'll drop the prick of boars off at the shop before I head out. Head out where? The person I was supposed to meet is late. I don't think I'll be home tonight. I came out here to let you know. You'll have to pick up the medicine yourself. Right. One more thing. I saw a group of demons near the village. If you're attacked, run away. Am I clear? No way! I, I can handle a bunch of... Demons can only be challenged by those with the talent for exorcism. That's the cold logic of the world. And your emotions can change it. Um, I beg to differ. Do you think... I could become an exorcist? Because demons can kill each other just as easily. Why is it you think that birds fly? Why? Well, without flying, because they, they can't can. find food. It takes a particular innate talent to be an exorcist. Unfortunately, very few humans have it within themselves. All right. Tomorrow is Selica's Memorial Day. I'll be back as soon as I can. Hurry back! I'll make you a quiche, just the way she taught me. Couldn't tell if it was a happy face or a worried face. I wonder if those prickle boars were brothers. Maybe I should have let them go. But then, how would I pay for Lofi's medicine? Hunting took care of that. And it means food for us as well. I had no other choice. It was a rational decision. But the fact that I'm still worrying about it shows that my feelings are getting the better of me. No. You're actually being very rational. Arthur's advocating being a sociopath. Not that that's a diagnosis anymore, it's just that's what he's advocating.
for groceries? Yep. And you must have been out hunting. Yeah, it was a good haul. Look at you, Lady Breadwinner. If you were a boy, I think I'd be in love. Good thing I'm a girl. Oh, yeah? You want to do something about your style, then? Uh, yeah. I kind of broke my comb. So get a new one. Sure, I'd like to, but... Hey, mister! How about a sale on combs for the pretty girl? <laughs> huh? Oh, you two need something? I'm fine, Nico. I'm just here to pick up medicine for Laffy said. Oh, Velvet. I already told Arthur, but I'm afraid the medicine hasn't come in yet. What? Why not? Is it because of the demons? Seems like the demon blight's really taking a toll on the city. There's even a group of them lurking around here now. When is it coming, then? I can't say. And I don't know how much it will cost. Oh, no. Ugh, what is wrong with Nick Gant? But don't they have an army or something? Those guys? The demons already routed them a while back. But we're safe here, right? After all, your brother-in-law's an exorcist. I don't think you're sure aren't you? Arthur can't even use his right hand anymore. Poor fellow couldn't even protect his own wife and child. Let me know when the medicine gets in. Uh, uh of course. For now, here, on the house. Velvet! You didn't forget, did you? You promised to teach me how to make your special key. You mean for that apprentice animal doctor you had your eye on? You were serious? Beyond serious! Please. This is life or death for me. But I thought your folks weren't keen on the two of you dating. Who cares what people think? The important thing is my feelings. <laughs> I like the way you Have talk. you noticed the theme? If I were a boy, I think I'd be in love. Darn right. Emotions are running high for everybody. To the point they're slipping up and saying Luffy things they shouldn't say. starving by now. I'd better hurry home. Orthy and Russ seem pretty down today. I know. They've been whimpering like this for an hour now. Well, they've always been a bit wimpy. The other day, that kitty Rolo chased both of them up a tree by himself. They're hopeless. Whenever it's thundering out, they both dive into my bed, shivering. Orthy, Russ, shape up. You're Nico's bodyguards, right? Start acting like it. They're completely hopeless. <laughs> Maybe. But they're so cute. So I forgive them. Yeah. We lost you. And the baby you carried. Oh, Trent. You forgot to bring your princessias. I know how much you, Mom, and Dad all loved those flowers. And I know your child would have too. I'm sorry. I'll pick some from the cake tomorrow. I was only up for a little. 
Look, your fever hasn't gone down a bit. Go lie down and I'll cook dinner. I'm sorry. What's this? A compass. It uses a magnet to tell you which way you're facing. Woohoo! You can use the sun and stars for that. And what will you do if it's cloudy, huh? Thanks to this invention, we'll even be able to voyage across the ocean. See? It's designed to stay level, so your heading will be true even when the ship is rolling with the waves. Pretty neat, right? If you say so, Rafi. Come on, it's a must-have for any adventure. Can't you see how useful it is? You can tell me more about it later. Did they hurt you? Not a scratch. And I brought back plenty. I can hear Arthur already. Gosh, Velvet. I think it's time you learned all my secret arts. He isn't coming home tonight, is he? How do you know that? Sarah stopped by and told me. Arthur's Moloch? Huh, you really can talk to Moloch, can't you? Yeah, Arthur says I've got exorcist potential. No kidding. I think you'll be an exorcist to rival even him. I can tell you've been learning all sorts of things from his book collection. I really want to become an exorcist. I want to go traveling with you and see all the wonders of the world. I'll hunt and chop firewood, and if demons come for us, I'll defend you. I wish... I wish I could do that. <laughs> You'll get there, Lafisette. It should only take... Oh, 20 years tops. It won't take me that long. Oh, yeah? You better prove it to me then. Start with this lovely meatball stew I cooked. Eat every last mouthful, even if you don't feel hungry. And take your medicine, no matter how nasty it tastes. No tricks. Am I clear? Yes, ma'am. Right, cooking time. First, I need to light the stove. It's so easy to light Arthur's firewood. I wonder what his trick is. Um, Velvet? Could you not put any spinach in the stew? Huh. You'll never grow up if you're picky with your food, you know. Oh, I know. But, but just for today? Fine, fine. I'll leave out the spinach, just this once. And I'll make it that curry flavor you like. Really? Thanks, Velvet. There's some of Arthur's special curry spice upstairs, isn't there? There you Oh, yeah. I saw Nico today, and she had very important things to talk about. She's coming over in the next couple days, so be on your best behavior. I will. I'm glad you've got a good friend. Yeah, we've known each other since forever. Still, Nico falling in love? I can barely wrap my head around it. Lofty, you know, if there's a girl you like, you'll tell Big Sister all about it, right? A g girl Hmm... You're a stubborn little brat, so you might need an older girl to keep you under control. Oh, and she's got to be a good cook. A pro in the kitchen is a success at life. I mean... Knock it off, Velvet! You should be more worried about your own love life. Me? Ugh. I've got enough on my mind. For one thing, I've got to cook for you and Arthur since Salika is gone. Besides, getting crushes on strange men, I just don't see what so... <coughs> What's wrong? Are you all right? I'll bring you some water. I'm fine. You just said something funny as all, and it made me choke a bit. 
As long as you're okay. Sorry, I went off on a tangent there. <laughs> Who knows what the future holds? Okay, but what more can I do? I've got a duty to look after my little brother, and I'm serious about it. I know, but I'm trying to look after you too. I want you to be happy. That's all. And it's not just me. Arthur worries about you too. Well, your family, right? Yeah. That's what families do. Thanks, Lachie. For you, I'd kill every last prickle boar in the forest if it came down to it. <sighs> what am I doing? I need to hurry and get dinner ready. Isn't this Arthur's book? Is Lafay really reading stuff this dense? <laughs> Poor kid's gonna squint his eyes right out. The day before Scarlet Night, Sis went prickle boar hunting on her own. She's almost as good a fighter as Arthur, so I know those prickle boars don't stand a chance. But I worry that she's too athletic to land a husband. Maybe she should try to be more lady. Sexist bastard! He just knew I'd be reading this, didn't he? Ugh. Although I have been told I'm too athletic to land a husband, so there. Boy, you didn't forget your medicine. Well, I did promise. Tomorrow's a scarlet night. Yeah, just like that night that changed our lives. Um, Velvet, may I sleep next to you tonight? Of course. I've got to dry some meat and use that cheese I've been saving to make a quiche for... Hmm? Luffy? You little... Where have you gone? You better not have gone to the village alone! Uh... I bet your fever hasn't even gone down. Hey, has Luffy set in here? Uh, no. I haven't seen him. Wait! That's one of Arthur's! Actually, it's a copy that Lafayette made. A smart merchant would pay a pretty penny for this book. I gave him a fair trade. Lafayette, did you really copy all that by hand? But it wasn't for the compass. Oh, he must have done it to buy that compass. No, though he gave it some puppy eyes. I told him I'd throw it in for free, but he said that it would be a bad deal for me. He's a good lad, but not the merchant type. So, what did he use the money for? I'm afraid my lips are sealed. You'll have to ask him. Probably that replacement comb she couldn't afford. 
I'm right. Velvet, I saw Lafayette walking around. Is he okay? He's not okay. Where'd you see him? He was headed for the forest. I'll help you look for him. Thanks. Do a sweep of the village, just in case. I'll check the forest. I know. He might have gone to the cape to pick flowers. Too, don't you? Yeah, yeah, that too. Fine. Just for today, though. Are you sure? I am. But next time you run off like that, I'm strapping you to your bed. Yes, ma'am. Good. It's off to the cape, then. Hooray! Remember how we went out together to pick Vincessias on the morning of Salika's funeral? Yeah. I was only four, but I remember. We couldn't find any in the village or at the cave. Right. Because the demons had made a mess of them. And then you suddenly started climbing down the edge of the cliff. You ran over and grabbed me. You had the scariest look on your face. <laughs> of course I did. Do you have any idea what I'd do if I lost you too? You'd still have Arthur. He'd help you. He'll help the world. He's quite the guy. That's probably true. But I'd still miss you like you wouldn't believe. I know. I'm sorry, sis. But down the cliff from where you were, a lone pair of princessia were blooming. I remember. A gentle breeze came in. And it smelled like Celica. That's right. That's why I believe those flowers were a message from her. Do you know what Princessia flowers signify? Uh, an irreplaceable treasure, and wishes for good health for many years to come. Right. And that sums up my feelings nicely, Luffy. Yeah. Me too, sis. when we get home, Rafi. Apple boo? What's that? Grated apples. Whenever I caught a cold when I was little, Celica would make it for me. It's sweet and tart and juicy and crisp. Eating it always made me feel better. Well, apples are good for you. But what does the boo mean? When I was a baby, I would always say boo-boo when I wanted to eat an apple. <laughs> 
So that's where the name comes from. Wait, you called apples boo-boo? You must have been a strange baby. You used to do the same thing. When Selica and I heard you, we laughed so hard. Boo! changes, does it? It does two change. The seasons, the wind, the weather. Change one and the sea's totally different. And the same goes for what lies across the sea. Across the sea? Sometimes I just don't know what you're talking about. Hey, Velvet. Thank you for taking me out here today. You don't need to thank me. Hey, Luffy. Do you know why it is that birds fly? Well, if they didn't, they couldn't catch food. Or escape from predators. Thought so. But you know, I think there's more to it than that. A bird that's born with wings has to... Uh. Has to fly because they can. A demon! Lottie says, run! No matter how much it hurts, run! Velvet! Don't be scared. You can do it. You're going to be strong, like Arthur. No, you can't! Go! Falling unconscious as you're seeing Arthur is never a good sign. <laughs> Last time it was Celica. How, but... how did I get home? Velvet! Luffy! You're alright! Uh, sorry. It's all my fault. No. If you weren't there, there's no telling what might have happened to me. Your old one broke, right? You've got beautiful hair. There's it would be a waste off. if you didn't take care of it. Like, see that, see that fog? I'll make a new world. A world where my sister can be happy.
Now she actually wakes up. The Scarlet Knight? What's going on? Was that... was it all a dream? No, it wasn't! She grabbed the comb during the fight. And then dreamt... The lobby says thoughts for a second. Oh, what's happening? The villagers have all turned into demons. All of them. Fluffy, where are you? All of them that don't have. Sorry, all of them that do not have magic slip what forcing through Earth their veins or exorcist talent. This is no time to be scared. I have to find Luffy. In other words, in a small village. Yeah, basically all of them. No, oh, the village. Saving here because I haven't saved in a while. Tales games is never that simple. Off. Velvet, run! Arthur! Here, once, was the seal to the underworld broken. And tonight, here shall be born the power to save the world. With Lucas' life as a sacrifice. What? What are you saying?
world. This is an offering to the world. Nothing can save him now. Ever a slave to a nation. <laughs> he cut her hand off. You heard that right. She just turned into a demon. spread through the village, but do not fear. With my power as an exorcist, I, Artorius Colbrand, will end your pain. If the birds fly, behold my answer, Velvet. Arthur. I ask no forgiveness. The sin is mine to bear.
I will. I will make you pay. So did my world come to an end. And for three long years, I sat in that pit of darkness and fed. Devouring demons. So I could live. So I could live long enough to kill him and be my brother's vengeance. There will be a test. It will decide if you are worth teaching. His Moloch would never be so weak as that. I am his Moloch no longer. <sighs> First, let me tell you what has transpired these past three years. There are exorcists now throughout the land, challenging the reign of demons with the help of... Tell me. Tell me where Artorius is. You may find him in the capital city of Logris, in Midgand. You won't stop to listen. I can tell you what it was you saw that night. That night, the ritual he performed shifted the very course of the world. A host of Malachim descended. And with their strength, the emergent exorcists quelled the demon tide. Now, he serves as leader of the Exorcist's Abbey, an institution that enjoys the unconditional faith of the kingdom and public. A shield to guard the people and a sword against demons 
Artorius Colbrand, the world's savior. With power stolen by sacrificing Lafayette. Indeed. But his power is not yet absolute. The man can still be killed. Why are you doing this? Make a successful escape from this place and I'll explain. Escape? So that's your game. Fine. I don't care what the world thinks of me. What matters is my vengeance against Artorias. That's all. We must hurry. Please let there be a save point somewhere close. There are weapons in the room ahead. Raise the alarm. I can see that. Take what you need from here. It looks like they kept prisoners' effects in here. Rope. This will be useful. Quite a blade. I know that sword. Stormhound. What is it doing here? Well, it's too big for me. And if I can't use it, it's worthless. I just one way to turn All the right. rags. There Are you exist ready, into then? something more. Pathetic. What's going on here? Someone in the fight. Still with the best armor, Be but careful. still better than nothing. No ordinary He's an exorcist orderly. You didn't even flinch. I already told you. I am his Moloch no longer. Is there a ship waiting? So you already know we're on an island. Yes. I've learned that this is a prison island for violent criminals. And that there are scores of demons locked away here. Demons say lots of things when they don't want you to eat them. <laughs> the prison has docks at both the front and rear entrances. Our ship is on the back side. Go Jesus, no. Finally, a safe point. Okay. Right. Bye, guys. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and pack everything up and head to work to try to get some stuff uploaded. Um, I'm also gonna do some editing to make sure these all wind up working out together somehow. Um, as I said before, I'm missing pretty much all of the background audio for all of my PlayStation playthroughs. So. Yeah, yeah. That, I think that happened sometime while I was trying to film the Final Fantasy 15. Um, 
Yeah. Anyway. I got you. 